down, 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 down. A little clue for you there, Stone Roses. If you haven't guessed where I am today, that's right. I'm in Manchester. I'm about to take on something called the Challenger Burger. Should really have thought more about the name of that thing. chicken, there's a mac and cheese, and then it's it's um, it's covered with cheese sauce as well. <laughs> it's almost as wide as it is tall. That's crazy. Anyway, today we're at uh, Manchester Smokehouse and Cellar, because it's in a cellar, and uh, we're taking on the Challenger Burger, which is, uh, I, I don't know, I'll, I'll list the ingredients on the commentary, but safe to say, it's, uh, it's not vegan. No time limit, you just got to finish it in one sitting. So without further ado, this is Baby's Food and this is the Challenger Burger Challenge. Who's good out? Alright, I've got a second plate here, which I think I'm going to need. Oh. Okay, where to begin? I'm going to start with this, um, this is a burnt end lollipop, apparently. What's up, it? Oops, I think I just spat some food on my mag filter. Anyway, <laughs> welcome back to another video. As you can see, uh, it's a restaurant challenge today. We are at Manchester Smokehouse and Cellar in, that's right, Manchester, <laughs> taking on their aptly named Challenger Burger. The brisket is tidy though, it's really nice. Tidy, not tiny. T-I-D-Y, as in British slang for sexy. Well, you know, good looking. <laughs> well. My shoulder was starting to get tired. I think it's gonna stand up now. Right, so this is a huge fried chicken breast. Look at the size of that. Look at it. Yeah, so as you can see, this thing is just stuffed full of meat, including this gigantic fried chicken breast, which by the way was perfect. I'm gonna make a, a regular burger out of this. <laughs> Beef patty. Lettuce. Yeah, vegetables. That wasn't part of the bargain. I'll eat them anyway, though. What the heck? There's a waffle in this thing. I'll save that to the end. Look at that. These things are really yummy. Yeah, I'm gonna say the highlights of this meal were the burnt and lollipops and the brisket. The burger patties were okay, but uh, what makes it special is the toppings. I'm starting to sweat. Yeah, I've got a bit of a sheen to me now. In case you haven't guessed, this place is actually in a cellar, so it does get pretty warm, especially when you're eating hot food. Oh. Look at all those chips. No. <laughs> Look at my reaction there. I mean, I couldn't even tell when it arrived on the table just how many fries were going to be packed into this little cake tin. It was ridiculous. I don't think I've ever eaten this clean in my life. I've got to take a train home, so I don't want to be a total mess. Yeah, sadly missed out on the uh, bonus clean eating achievement. On, uh, on this particular video, but whatever. I just chose a seat on the on the train that wasn't looking across from other people, so <laughs> nobody had to stare at my beard. Caked full of cheese and meat and stuff. Oh no! <laughs> right, I think I need a fork for these chips, whatever. Yeah, so we're pretty much done with everything that formed part of the burger at this point, apart from the Belgian waffle, which was odd, but I thought I'd save that for dessert. And they told me at the beginning that somebody has actually finished this burger before, one person. They didn't tell me until afterwards that nobody has ever finished the burgers and fries before. Oh. 
I can just about see the bottom. <laughs> yeah, so it, it doesn't particularly surprise me that nobody's finished the entire meal before, but that's great, more kudos if I finish. But I mean, this is an incredible amount of fries. They're stuffed in so tight to the, to the cake pan too. What is this? Oh, mac and cheese. This was a welcome relief to the flavor fatigue. When I get a piece like this with tons of mac and cheese on it, it's almost bearable. Oh. <laughs> Only chips can elicit that kind of reaction in me. That and Mrs. Beard complaining that I bought brown bread instead of white. <laughs> There's bits and pieces of meat everywhere. This is a messy one. Just got some uh, fries left on the waffle. I should say, by the way, the fries weren't bad by any means. But uh, just the amount of them was offensive. It's got to be like two kilos of fries there or something. You don't happen to do milkshakes, do you? No, we are going to start. God, I need milkshake. <laughs> no milkshake. Oh, these things are killing me. <laughs> Shut down. My Hail Mary milkshake was denied. <laughs> I tried. Thank Christ, the fries are done. I'm never eating a cake pan full of fries ever again. Never. I'm actually really excited to eat this waffle now. Oh, Roman. <laughs> you can sense the relief. In fact, this entire burger was yummy, so I would highly recommend it. I'm just checking there are no more fries hiding in the vicinity. I think we're good. <laughs> Thank you. Well, that was pretty delicious, with the exception of, you know, two kilos of fries. It's never going to be delicious, but the burger itself was really nice. There wasn't one part of that burger I didn't enjoy. Even the lettuce was good. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course. Cool. Did you quite famous? Uh, am I right to go? Uh, beer meets food. Look at Hello. that. <laughs> yeah, thanks for that. I don't think you want to. It's not too bad. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's cool.